Hello everybody, Dr. Darok here, and welcome back to Let's Play Blightfall, episode 5. Uh, today, I've got a couple of, uh, what was that? Did you see that? Today, I've got a couple of suggestions from my comment section below my video that I'd like to implement. So, uh, one of those suggestions is that I should, uh, do I have... Do I have any wood on me? Yeah. One of those suggestions is that I should make some wooden armor until I can get iron armor to help me defend myself against all of the cruel and unusual punishment that this landscape... No, Mr. Sheep! No! <laughs> he was so young. <sighs> Where was I? Uh, anyway, uh, is this broken? Yeah, um, so one of the suggestions that I got was to uh, take some, make some wooden armor so that I can, uh, you know, use that to help defend me against the cruel and unusual punishment that the landscape has been giving me. Um, you'll notice a, a couple episodes ago, I think it was episode three, I died. So uh, some people gave me some helpful tips that I believe should make my survivability just slightly better, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and implement that. Also, we are going to be taking a look at making a couple of more unique food items from Pam's Harvest Craft and uh, trying to get around this um, diminishing returns on eating various food items. So uh, hopefully you're going to enjoy today's episode uh, very much, um, and if you don't, then don't be afraid to leave a comment down below and tell me why you didn't. All right? Um, these stupid spiders are still hanging around, and that's annoying. I do not like them at all. Uh, <laughs> if you watched the last episode, you might know why. Um, I do believe, I, I think I checked, and, uh, nope, never mind. I did talk to the creator of the mod pack, Talanos, and he said that in the next patch, uh, we should be able to take these sunflower seeds and put them into a crafting grid to turn them into, um, regular, uh, a seed that you can plant. Uh, I, I can't see... See, it's there. No, no, no. I don't want that. Um, but I guess I guess that's not in the current version, uh, of course. But uh, whenever the next patch comes out, that should be fixed. Oh, no. I don't like these slimes at all. Oh, yeah. Booyah, baby. Little magical thumbcraft orbs. I wish I had a wand to pick that up with. Uh, I could probably make a Thaumcraft wand at this point, couldn't I? I wonder. Is, do I have any quests from the, uh, uh, the Paranormalist? No. I'm not really sure exactly when, when I unlock the quests from the Paranormalist, but I know that they're all related to, like, Thaumcraft and other magic things, paranormal things. So, should be getting around to that sometime soon. Anyway... We're going to go right ahead and make some uh, wooden armor now to protect my body. Because everybody knows that my body needs protected. And there we go. Got that. And uh, make a helmet too. Why not? And uh, I might want some... Can I make these... What are they? Boots of the Traveler? Traveler's Boots? Six leather, two strings, and an aluminum ingot. No, I don't have that. Um, so that's kind of a shame. I can't quite make those, but that's all right. Um, no big deal. So uh, I've got armor now. That's helpful. Let me get rid of some of this stuff that I don't need in my inventory right now, so I've got space. Uh, maybe I should plant these. Yeah, I'm going to plant these. And, uh, so yeah, um, I'm not really sure what else I'm gonna do on this episode yet. I don't have any plans. So, uh, if there's anything that you'd like to see me go after in the next episode, or any advice that you think that I should take to heart, all you've gotta do is leave it in the comment section down below. Uh, trust me, I'm watching that comment section like a hawk. Um, so... So, uh, I do believe the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to go put that bowl back. 
<laughs> do you believe the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this bread here, probably about half of it, and I'm going to put it in the furnace here, and we're going to turn it, actually, I might as well just do eight. I'm going to go ahead and cook it again and turn it into toast. So as you can see, do that. And then toast can be used for a couple of different, um, you know, different uh, food items that you can make with Pam's Harvest Craft. Although I'm not really sure how much I can do with this. What about cheese? How do I make cheese? Milk, bucket of milk, and salt, and a pot, which is, oh, wow, that's actually a pretty hefty material cost. I'm still a little early for that, I think. But maybe I could, maybe I could swing it. Uh, actually, why don't I go ahead and make an extra furnace, and we'll get started with that. However, uh, there is one problem with that, and it is that I do not yet have, uh, I do not yet have any, ooh, yay, saplings. I don't have a cow to milk or anything, so um, I think it's about time I requisition some animals, uh, some mobs of some sort from the Jaded. I'm also going to claim another bag of seeds, maybe another sapling too. Okay, so uh, we're going to open all these loot bags and see what I get. First up, animal bag drops. What is that, a pig? I think that's a pig. Um, so does that mean I have two pigs now? Awesome! All I've got to do is keep making pigs and, uh, or, or find carrots somewhere. Yeah, that's what I have to do. So did one of these spiders die? I want this string, but I, I'm scared of the spiders. Uh, can I, like, maybe I can, maybe I can nerd pull up there and grab the string through the glass without... Oh, dear. Punch, punch, punch. Hey, 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 it worked! It works! I can kill the spiders. No, not anymore. Uh, I can't quite reach that. Maybe I could. Oh, nope. Oops. Yikes. Nerd pole again. Nerd pole again. Yeah! Okay, so I got some string for free. That's pretty nice. Although, I, I should be able to make string uh, with the these cotton plants. That I dug up, that I planted over here. Uh, once they grow a little bit more, and I start to harvest them, um, or I could use bone meal, but I am not really that worried about it right now. Uh, so yeah, uh, we are doing things and making progress. I hope. So I'm gonna come over here now, grab out all this toast. And as you can see, that means that my bread, instead of being 50% the nutritional value that it normally is, it's actually got 25% more nutritional value than basic bread whenever you cook it into toast. So, uh, net positive for my food stores. Alright, uh, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check and see if there's anything cool in this sapling bag. Dark oak sapling, okay? Maybe not as cool as I was hoping for. What about the seed bag? Anything cool in here? A copper or berry bush. Awesome. Oh, yeah, and that actually reminds me. I did look up between episodes how to make sure these or berry... Ooh, it actually progressed. So that's a little bit different. Uh, but I did look up between episodes how to uh, make sure that... How to get the or berry bushes to progress. And uh, one big thing I noticed is that they grow faster or better in lower light. So I'm gonna, uh, because the um, spawn rate of like aggressive mobs like zombies and skeletons is uh, extraordinarily low in this world, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, darken it down here a little bit so that those can hopefully grow faster uh, because having the aluminum ore berry bush is gonna help me um, to get to aluminum and therefore, al al alumite, I think it's called. I believe it's the pink metal from uh, Tinker's Construct, and it's quite good for. Uh, it's quite it's quite a good metal for progression. Um, go ahead and eat some of this. Ooh, wow, nice. Okay, there we go. Made a big deal. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm also going to hopefully. 
I wonder if I can r request a new mob yet. Yes, I can. I'm going to keep requesting mobs for a little while. If I can get a cow, that'd be really helpful. That is a cow, isn't it? I think. Is that a cow? I can make cheese. I can make cheese. I can make cheese. I can make cheese. Your name is Spawn. Hello, Spawn the cow. I would like your cheese, please. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to come back over here, grab these iron ingots, and turn some wood into planks, some planks into sticks, and uh, then I'm going to come down here and put a stick up here and some iron ingots and make a pot. And now I'm going to... I hope I keep my bucket whenever I do this. If not, I'll be very sad. I'll be a sad cheese maker. Um, so should just be a shapeless recipe just like this. Awesome. There's cheese. And I do keep my bucket. So all I got to do is keep walk back and forth between the cow and my crafting station. I'm going to make cheese. And I don't care if you think it's a bad idea because I like to sing about it. Yeah. Okay. So. Now, I was I found cheese because I was looking at uses for toast. Toast, cheese, and butter in a skillet makes grilled cheese. Um Ah, uh, yes. Toast, cheese, and mushroom makes stuffed mushrooms. Okay, so I can come over here. Actually, speaking of things that grow in dark places, maybe I should uh, grow some of these mushrooms, right, uh, somewhere down here. Like, because this is the last red mushroom I have readily available. So maybe if I place this over here. Oh, taint. Lovely. That's just great. Everyone loves taint. Taint is great. Taint is great. Everyone loves that purple stuff. Um... That's worrying. I don't like that giant mound of crusted taint over there. But really, there's nothing I can do about it anymore. It's a little bit late for that. Uh, basically, the only thing I can do about that is to bring some of my... You suck, stupid spiders. Best thing I can do with that would be to bring my um, uh, ethereal blooms over from the swamp region and, you know, turn them into something else. So I'm going to take my, oh, is my pan or my pot still over here? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to take my pot and a cheese and a toast and mushroom. No? I thought, I thought that was how I did, oh, uh, shapeless crafting, toast, cheese, mushroom, bakeware, bricks. I don't have bricks. In order to get bricks, I will need... Ah, uh, yes. I'm going to need to get some, uh, oh, what's the word? Clay. Yes. So, I'll go ahead and leave this stuff here for now. Ha ha ha, you're dead. I'm going to leave this stuff here for now. Uh, empty out as much of this stuff as I can um, from my inventory. Uh, plop this book in here and this one too. And uh, we're going to run over to the swamp. Oh, ho, ho, more string for me. Booyah. Um, we're going to go over to the swamp. Another dead spider. Do I have no more spiders tormenting me? Uh, ha, ha, that's correct. I have no more spiders tormenting me. Yay. Absence of spider torment for the win. Um, so I need, I need more gravel still, technically, for the grout that I want. And I need some more sand. So I'm going to want to make sure that my mattock is uh, fully repaired. Well, it's mostly fully repaired, so I guess that should work for now. Um, hopefully, I won't be gone too long, and uh, I should be able to... Whoa! Loading the world! Can I... Uh, uh, make me unstuck, darn it! Ugh, okay, what in the world was that? I hate when that happens. Anyone else have that glitch? If you ever have that bug in modded Minecraft or vanilla Minecraft or whatever, then... Oh, hey, look! Spiders and skeletons! Hey, guess what? You're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. Hey, guess what? You're gonna die, Mr. Skeleton Pants. Oh, no. I don't like, st I don't like the swarms. 
I don't like the swarms. I'm running. Yeah, swarm. You get that skeleton. Yeah, skeleton. You get that swarm. Booyah, baby. Doop. 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 Oh, yeah. Bones. Ah, stupid swarm. I don't like swarms. I'm going to get the heck out of here. And, uh... Maybe I'm not going to come back. Oh, yeah, there was another thing that I wanted to do. Oh, hey, Mr. Zombie with a helmet. If you give me that gold helmet. If you give me that gold helmet, I'll be s such a happy. Nope. No free helmet for me. Why can't I hit this thing whenever I know that... Is it because it's, like, too tall and blocked from getting to me? So, like, as a balancing mechanic, they don't want you to be able to, like, lure these in unfairly or something? I'm not really sure. But for some reason, I just ate a block of cheese. I just ate a block of cheese. I just ate a block of cheese. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, so that was dangerous and painful in all sorts of ways. Uh, I did I did do a little bit of testing about how to get how the best way is to get rid of these taint swarm spawners taint taint spore swarmers maybe is what they're called and basically that ethereal bloom should kill it sometime um, I don't really want to wait around for that to happen though uh, so maybe it's time I oh oh let me go ahead and dig the clay there's got to be clay somewhere right. Clay, clay, I'm looking for clay, I'm looking for clay. Is that clay over there? It kind of looks like clay. I think it might be. Uh, is that sand or clay? I can't really tell. That's sand. Uh, there's, there's some clay. Yeah, okay, there we go. Now we're getting clay. Now we're getting clay. Now we're getting clay. That's a decent amount of clay right there. Um, oh lord. No, 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 no. No, no, you stay back. Is this thing gonna follow me under the water? Or what? No, it's gonna get blocked by the tree. Well, at least I, at least I have a reasonable defense. Not creepers. I don't like creepers. They are not my friends. Creepers are not my friends. Creepers are the evil things that take me to an end. They end my life. They end my time. They make everything not all right. Is that a blue slime from Tinker's Construct? Oh, I would like to kill him for his slime stuff. Maybe. But I'm really not sure. Ah ha Swarm spawner gone, baby. Oh yeah. High five, Ethereal Bloom. Pow. And I'm gonna move you out a little bit. And I'm gonna move this one out a little bit too. Ouch! Fing crappity crap. Let me get out of here. Okay, here we go. I'm going back to my dome. Goodbye! Ha! I chickened out just in time. Okay, so uh, now that I've worked on that a little bit, uh, I did get clay. Mm, not quite enough, though, uh, for what I want. Or is it? Actually, it should be, because um, for the bakeware, all I need is I need eight clay bricks for the bakeware. So let's go ahead and put eight of these in here. And one piece of charcoal will do that. And I would then like to take, let's see here. How much sand do I have? I could, I could use more sand still. Um, so that's sad face. Uh, but maybe, maybe if I go back to the swamp, now this is a long shot. But maybe if I go back to the swamp, it's going to be a nice, pleasant place without evil swarms that are ready to kill me. Oh. I actually, I didn't expect that was going to work. I thought I was going to, like, go through that teleporter and I was going to get wailed on. 
immediately by aggressive, hateful things. Um, no way! Ah, oh, you get out of here. Where did that thing come from? That wasn't here just a minute ago. Oh, no. I don't like taint tendrils. They are the worst. So I'm going to get rid of all the crusted taint that I can find so I don't get any more spore swarmers. Oh, hey, free red mushrooms. Did I say free red mushrooms? I meant to say three red mushrooms. <laughs> I know, that's not really... That doesn't count as a joke, does it? Um, I should make a bow or something, shouldn't I? Uh, I've got to find some way to get that thing, because it's evil, just so evil. Do not like, no love for that guy. Hello. Now that one is close. Oh, and I want to kill him. Is he being attacked? Are, is that thing spawning taint tendrils to fight that thing? Oh, yes. Okay. So I got blue slime, guys. Oh, no. I'm not, I'm scared of that thing. I don't want to get too close. I do want a bow and arrow, though, so that I can take things out from afar. That's something that I really want sometime soon. Um, another thing that I would like, is that an Enderman? I would like to kill you, Mr. Enderman. I would like to kill you, Mr. Enderman. Don't look at me and I won't look at you. Don't look at me or I'll say how do you do, uh, Mr. Enderman. Oh, Mr. Enderman. Oh, Mr. Enderman. You can't get to me because of my frying pan. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 no, I died again. Ah, that was unexpected. I really didn't think I was, I didn't think that was going to happen at all. Um, I forgot to look up what uh, Soul Fray does. So if anybody knows what the buff Soul Fray does, look it up on the internet or something and post it in the comments down below and I'll like highlight you in one of my future videos maybe if your answer is helpful to me. How's that sound? Anyone down for that? Okay, so it looks like I am actually doing a pretty good job of getting somewhere with uh, this tainted land and uh, the purification process. So hopefully it won't be too long now uh, before I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with this swamp. However, um, I think I might do another quest for the scout uh, because last time I did a quest for the scout, I wound up finding a silverwood tree and some uh, lovely um, ethereal blooms to help me in my journey here. So hopefully... Um, the next scout quest that I do will have, um, similar benefits, and I will gain something from doing it. Uh, I would also like to, I'm just gonna start digging. I'm gonna dig around the base of this tree. That sounds like a good place to dig. It sounds like the safest place I could possibly dig is right around the base of the silverwood tree here. I've got a little marker on my map, so I know whenever I'm close. Ooh, I don't want to use quartzy. Duh. Uh, I want to save that for when I find some oraclase, I, I believe. I don't know if that's really how you pronounce it, but I hope it is, because otherwise I will appear to be a fool. You know, I don't want to I don't want to act a fool. Um, so, here we go. I am digging and digging. There's some salt I don't care for. Ferris! Never mind, it is not salt. But I cannot mine it, because it is a hard metal mining level. Now, I can mine coal. That I, I know I can mine. Um, silver? Oh, cool. I think that's fairly uncommon. Uh, so I'm pretty glad I found that. And once I find something that can mine hard metal, I'll come back and get that ferris. Um, that's good. Ah, oh, yes! Profitable mining trip! Step one, mine. Step two, mine some more. Step three, profit! Yes! Uh, what am I talking about? Hey, look, more silver! Okay, cool. So, um, it said that I unlocked more materials in my material book, but I kind of wonder what kind of materials. Um, and I kind of wonder what I can use silver for. So, if I go silver, 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 uh, so I guess, let's see, uh, 
uses for silver ingot. What about silver if I... Oh, wait. There's a silver hoe. Silver hoe. Mining level hard metal. So I can turn I can turn the silver things into the next level that will allow me to harvest this ferrosaur. So that is... Um, that's good. Yeah. In case you don't know what the definition of good is, it means something that is beneficial. Actually, that wasn't a simplification at all. That was just an overcomplication. I don't know why I even mentioned that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I have a twisted sense of humor, and you probably don't think it's very funny. But maybe you do, and I hope you do, because that means that you're going to keep watching, right? Uh, so we're going down now and further below the swamp. Um, I know that Oracles can be found between um, Y levels 10 and 40, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, I ran out of space, didn't I? I hear lava. Oh, that's just awesome. I would love right now for some lava to like come right in here and burn me to death. Because what could be better than that? Uh, surviving, maybe? But, you know, hey, surviving's overrated, right? Keep on digging down. Keep on digging down. Yeah, keep on digging down. Keep on digging down. Yeah. So I think that's probably good for this episode. Oh, wow. Look, my, um... Oh, hello! Ah, neat. So there are things down here. There's stuff down here that I could harvest, maybe. And I can also put some lava in my bucket. Lava in a bucket, lava in a bucket, lava in a bucket, yeah! And uh, maybe fill in that spot right there. Uh-huh. Hey, there's some iron. Salt, coal, more iron, some coal again. And, hmm, okay. So that's that. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, maybe turn left here. You know what I'm saying? Ah, ha, ha. Anyway, um, I think that might be it for today's episode. Uh, so on today's episode, uh, we did some things and stuff. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so basically, I made this wooden armor, but it's not very durable. So it hasn't really stood the test of time very well. And yeah, it's, uh, it's questionable whether it will last. Um much longer at all. In fact, one more little combat incursion, and I think it might fail. And that's, uh, that makes me an um, epic sad face. Uh, I cannot... There's lava now. I'm conscious of lava, so I cannot mine underneath of me. Gotta do these special jiggery-pokery things where I move around and stuff. Uh, sandstone, I think. I don't want that for now. Um... So yeah, on the next episode, I might make a pickaxe out of silver, perhaps? Uh, or I might might be able to get my smeltery started. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to aim for on the next episode, is getting my smeltery started. So that way I can start to process these metals um, efficiently and without problem. Um, other than that... Uh, I do believe that another thing we're going to do on the next episode is to continue doing quests. Because uh, I don't think I... I didn't get any quests done today. But that's mostly because I'm trying to progress through some of these uh, metal tiers so that I can, uh, you know, advance. Also, uh, I really don't want to use my iron for armor until I can... Uh, until I've made the smeltery from Tinker's Construct because it'll really help the efficiency of processing my iron and therefore make it a better deal um, effectively cutting the number of iron ores required for each piece of armor uh, right in half because it doubles the iron output of each iron ore so you know it's going to make things a lot easier for me um, yeah so thank you guys for watching today's episode um Today's episode was brought to you by Fire Shards. They're magical shards from Thomcraft. Brought to you by Thomcraft. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked my video, hit that subscribe button down below. Catch you tomorrow.